it whistleblowing is probably the area that frustrates me personally the most because I see people who do the right thing and they are told to whistleblow. I mean, the state of Nevada has a program that sure. advertises, if you see something going on, call this hotline, call this number. And almost every single time that I've experienced where people come to me, when they do the right thing, they get trashed, they get retaliated against, they get called a troublemaker, they have the problems. The problem they identified doesn't get fixed. That they become the issue rather than the problem they identified. It is the most upside down situation that I think currently exists for employees. Uh, I just uh, am involved in a case right now where a woman, uh, City of Reno uh, employee, this is quite some time ago, we're, we're right in the middle of it now, uh, made a complaint about a dangerous situation involving some other employees. Uh, ultimately, over a period of time, everything she did was wrong. Uh, they nitpicked on her, uh, they found fault with her, and ultimately terminated her, and were in litigation over that termination as retaliatory. Her superior, when she reported the safety issue, his reaction was, somebody reported something on my crew, I'll get that person. That's the kind of reaction you get from people when you turn in uh, a safety issue or, uh, like you say, a disgusting issue. It's got to change. Uh, because if we don't change it, people aren't going to report those issues and there's going to be lives, uh, injured injuries, uh, and there's going to be corruption in the system that doesn't get fixed. Uh, all I can tell you is, in my opinion, the only way to fix something like that is to shine light on it. You know, yes, those people who come forward, chances are it's going to hurt you for coming forward. But if you don't come forward, you got to live with the fact that you didn't come forward. And in the job I do, when it comes to this, a lot of times it's a very difficult job. A lot of times you don't win, but you have to fight the fight anyway because if you don't fight the fight, you're a loser. You absolutely lose and they just run you over. Every once in a while we do win. You know, Every once in a while you set them back on their ears and you make social change. Racial discrimination only changed because of litigation. Sure. Women's rights only changed because of litigation. You know, gay rights are going to change because of litigation. It takes those heroes. Uh, Darlene Jesperson, uh, she's a hero. Uh, it takes those people to step forward. It's not easy. Uh, when people come into my office, I explain to them, this is not going to be fun. It is not going to be easy. And some people walk away and say, I don't have what it takes to fight that fight. And I respect that. Uh, but for those who do, there is no higher calling uh, than to fight against the system. Uh, because we will win.